That stack's almost straight up. The best conversations happen when the camera's not on. It's just smooth. Oh, wait, wait, let's see what he's doing. Let's see what he's doing over here. As long as they put food on the table at the end of the night. Good morning, you guys. Is this even on? It is on. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your day or a wonderful end to it or whatever time it may be for you. I went ahead and pulled the trigger and bought one of those conveyor belt trailers. They call them ants. And uh, they were actually I was on the phone with the guy and they can do some pretty incredible things. But we're going to be testing that today. The reason I bought it is we work in Minneapolis, St. Paul. <laughs> We get involved in a lot of tight spaces and we're not allowed to actually dump on the street. And so a lot of times we just have a trailer sitting there and we've got to move material out and we got to lift it up and then we got to catch it in the back in the bucket of the loader and it's just a fiasco. And especially if you're trying to sort materials and got different kinds of materials. So this trailer is hopefully going to solve some of those problems, but we're going to be finding out for sure and putting it to the test. So let's just drive right into today's video, you guys. All right, we're here. Guys, let's meet Neil. Neil, how are you? Good. Can you tell the guys what you do for Ants Trailer? It's Ants Trailer, right? Uh, Davis Village Solutions is our company. Okay. Um, the Ants Trailer is our model or our brand for the trailers itself. Okay, and what so, do you do for them, Neil? Uh, kind of chief bottle washer i guess okay uh, kind of do everything so a little bit of this a little bit of that well how about you craig how are you hey family nice Still to meet you yeah so i i'm on the sales side of things and i do it out of south carolina but i'm often on the road doing demos in different states and different parts of the country so okay so neil said something to me off camera that basically spurred this whole video he told me that these ants trailers you can load them up with palletized material and unload them without a set of forks so that means i can keep my skid loader on my job site till the last dog is hung send a guy out with this trailer load it up with all my bricks everything that i need for my next job site he can start unloading it at the job site without needing a piece of equipment there so i can get the absolute most use out of my equipment on a job site possible is that is that accurate neil yep so now this has a conveyor belt floor Correct. so let's talk about that for a minute how long do these conveyor belt floors last we've well we've been building the trailer for seven years um, okay. some of the original units still have the original belts in them we've had other units where people have really abused them and hit them hard and they've lasted uh, you know, a year or two, they'll get out of a belt. But you can replace the belt? Yeah, the belt is replaceable. It takes an hour or so to do. Um, pretty easy to do. How much does it cost to replace a belt? It's roughly 1500 bucks for a new belt. Okay, and can a guy do it himself or does he got to go to a dealer to do it? No, you can do it yourself. Over here. This is legit my first time seeing this thing in operation. All right, so right here is our main shutoff, emergency shutoff. You want that on that'll power up the unit the next thing you do is you hit the power on that opens or starts up the controls um, that allows you to run it now we're going to hit the uh, start on the motor actually let me hit the choke here We also include a hands-free remote or a, a wireless remote. Okay. Um, and it basically, what it does, it's the same controls as here, but you can take this in your piece of equipment, be in your skid steer, let's say, and you pull up with a bucket, you can convey the material right into your skid steer bucket from the cab. From the cab of your loader. And never have to get out and go do anything. <laughs> It's just cute. The more he talks, the better it gets. This is our chain drive motor. Okay. So, so the battery, how often do you get to charge that up? Uh, the, the Honda will actually charge it as, as you're using it. Okay. Um, and also we do have a small trickle charger built into the circuit that will, as you're driving around, will keep the... So there's no plug in this trailer in at night? Okay. 
Well, if you're hauling equipment, um, we run a, this is our chain tie down slot. So these are covers if you're hauling material, keeps material from falling out of, as you're driving. Okay, so you got eight of these on the, or, yeah, eight, yeah, eight, four per side. And you have T uh, for T binders. The T handle storage is right here, chain and straps can be stored up in here as well for hauling equipment. Let's just see if he's lying. Is this what you're talking about, Neil? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so you can take this. Right in there. Okay. How much weight can a trailer like this handle? So we run Dexter 7,000 pound axles mm -hmm. um, and we register or, or rate them for 14,000 pounds. Um, essentially, you're not buying a trailer in the traditional sense. This is a tool just like a skid steer or like a mini or like a power buggy or anything like that. It will save you money. Um, it replaces guys in the field. Um, you don't need people up in there shoveling material out. Um, it It is a... Uh, it's a great tool really it is <laughs> when craig's like as awesome as this trailer is this is some people's favorite part you got to turn the camera back on okay what's going on so we got this chain here there's a magnet to catch your chain <laughs> oh little thought little things that go a long yeah, way just the thought process that goes into it One of the things I learned off camera is this: these guys really aren't a trailer manufacturing company, I'm air quoting here. They're actually a concrete company and they built this trailer for their own concrete crews. And then they had so much demand and request for this trailer that they then started to build it for other people. All right, so let's give you a little bit of a two cents on how she tows. Uh, the only trailer that I've towed that is towed as smooth as this one is my Diamond C. Uh, the Diamond C trailer tows, you don't even know it's there. It's just smooth. And this one is no different. Except you can see it better. <laughs> You'd be like, you're being too picky, dirt monkey. Well, <laughs> You know what? It all goes into the factors of when you're buying a trailer. If I'm driving down the road and this thing and rattling and shaking, well, it's gonna rattle itself apart. This thing is like a Cadillac. actually at patio town and uh, these guys are gonna let us load up materials and load up bulk items and load pallets and just test everything that uh, we were talking about oh what are you guys doing in my trailer <laughs> that's what she said all right let's go over to the we're gonna be right out here all right guys this is Jojo how you doing Good. Joe's from uh, Patio Town, and you're going to be loading us up with what first, Joe? Uh, we're probably going to start with some Versalock standards. We're going to go as deep as we can until they tell me to stop. Okay, so we are going to load four pallets of brick onto the back of my trailer and unload it with no equipment, 10,000 pounds. And we're going to see if this trailer will allow me to actually go out to a job site and unload without needing a forklift. So the way this trailer operates is actually on a conveyor belt system. It's got a conveyor belt on the bottom. So as he's loading up, you can pull that forward. Now this is on 
this is on a remote control so neil over there is actually remote controlling it and the idea is you can hop into the truck and we're going to show you exactly how you do this now a single guy will hop in the truck with the remote control and I could be in that, that could be me in that truck, but I'm out here filming. All right, Neil, let's unload her. All set. All set. So now he's tipping it up. And it's got two dog ears. And what you're gonna see is you can sit in the truck and as the brick gets unloaded, it will push everything forward and these pallets will come off just the way they are. So this happened in real time. There's no way I could get four pallet of block loaded, ready to go and unloaded in under three minutes. There's just no way. This is the lube, this is how you lube it. And that's it. Okay, so there's a couple things that I need to point out that I missed in the original video. And I know some of you guys are looking at those scuff marks on that asphalt and they're going like, yeah, that's not acceptable and it's easy to fix. You can still unload the trailer, you just don't have to have these two dog ears planted all the way on the ground. Instead of having it tilted all the way up like we had it for this demonstration, just lower it down a hair. And when you lower it a hair, those dog ears raise up and off from the ground by just that much, and that's all you need to clear it. You're still gonna be able to unload all of your pallets and get them out, but you won't leave any scuff marks behind. Another thing that I want to point out is this does this conveyor belt system does run off from a Honda GX390 gasoline powered engine and that's what makes the conveyor itself go in and out. But we got more demonstrations to do. The next one we're going to be looking at is loading two different kinds of loose material and then unloading the two different kinds of loose material. And I don't can't tell you how many times I've been in that spot where I wish I could haul more than one type of material out without a mixing together out on a job site. So let's do that one next. Okay, this one I think we should just straight off. Straight off. Just let's let's just show these guys what it can and can't do and how well it works. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to demonstrate how we can unload two different kinds of materials without mixing them. Neil's got control of the trailer down there. This is actually a dump trailer with a conveyor belt in the bottom. 
And this allows us to ha handle however much material we want without mixing them up. We're gonna do is we're gonna load this mulch up fill her up and then we're gonna see how high this uh trailer can stack they call it the kneeling position so so this can dump like a typical dump trailer but it can do something completely different as well it can stack materials really high and what they do is instead of dumping it like a dump trailer they invert it and put it into a kneeling position and instead of just telling you about it let's just show you what we mean hey does uh, a tarp like this is this uh, a standard or is this with all with all of them yeah. okay we do offer an aluminum side kit of two feet. So you could use this for leaf removal too. Yeah, we do have a whole leaf vacuum system that it's an aluminum enclosement with a tarp cover. Um, and that'll actually have a billy goat vacuum in the front, blowing it in there. And then you just convey your leaf pile right out of the trailer. And so the next thing you're gonna show us is what you call, I heard you guys say the kneeling position. Manipulate the trailer will lower the front of it, which okay. will raise the rear end up, and that's what will allow you to stack material higher um, in higher piles, more compact area. All right. He said, "Is the ram going to be able to pull this mulch load?" Did you guys tell Craig what you think of his GMC in the comments down below? Are you a GMC or are you a Ram fan? Which are you? Honestly, I think they all make good trucks. They help us make a living and some guys prefer one over another, but as long as they put food on the table at the end of the night. I love the way that peat snorts over there. Okay, we're gonna kneeling position it. So we've got to take the safety latch off from the front uh, cylinder, right? Correct. Okay. All set. Yep. So he starts it. Can I see that remote as you're running it? Okay, so yep. this is the remote. Go for it. So we're going to push the tilt down button, which is going to lower the front. That. Okay. Now we want to push the load out. It's almost straight up. Watch, you can watch. So the conveyor belt does not hit the ground. It's got those dog ears on it. Uh, so tell me what you guys right. think. And Big thanks goes out to Patio Town for letting us invade your yard. Thanks for helping us load, unload, do the test on this thing. Anytime. So this Patio Town, this is where I get my materials, you guys. I do. I buy them all. They, these guys don't pay me. I pay them a lot of money. Um, and a big thanks goes out to these guys. You came from South, South Car Carolina. South Carolina. And where did you fly in from, Neil? New Hampshire. New Hampshire. So these guys made the long hike so that they could demonstrate this for you guys. And now it's up to you guys. What do you think of them? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you got any questions, I'm guessing these guys would be happy to walk you through it. So 
that's our video for today oh card let me see the card craig that's how you reach them 603-497-0426 craig craig Russell from davisvillagesolutions.com these are the guys that invented this they built it for themselves and now they're selling it to whoever wants uh wants to buy one and that's it for today god bless you guys go get them i hope you enjoyed this video we got a lot more cool stuff coming down the pipeline because i'm going to be taking this north loading it up with gravel and i'm going to be using it to grade a gravel driveway i'm going to try to spread the gravel out and then of course i'm going to come with and afterwards with my skiddy and have fun with it but the point is i want to see how well this thing spreads and grades not today future video god bless go get them you guys we'll see you on another one